I find out what animals have been living in what shelters the longest. And I do photo shoots and video shoots, and I've really grown a large social media following. This is Firefly. This is Moose. Fiona. Beefcake. Bama. Whitley. I took notice that every single animal shelter had that one cat or that one dog that had been there, you know, years, not weeks, not months. And, you know, I became kind of in a healthy way obsessed with finding out why that animal is still there and why, you know, everybody knew what was wrong with the animal, but why wasn't anybody looking at what was right with the animal? When it came to Queen, one of my local shelters posted a story about her and it said that she was approaching um, a milestone that, that nobody was proud of, which was 400 days in the shelter. So that's all it took for me to go meet her. And of course, uh, you know, that's where I started bonding with her and then eventually came up with the plan to, to move in. For the longest time, I always told myself that there was the right dog in the right shelter at the right time, I would move in to bring them exposure. And I didn't even know if that would catch anybody's attention, but I figure surely it would. So Queen came from a terrible background. She was found living behind a dumpster. We don't know anything about her previous life other than we're pretty positive it wasn't good. She spent a third of her life at the animal shelter. She's dog selective, meaning she gets along with some and doesn't others. And of course that, you know, that doesn't help her cause when it comes to getting adopted. Other than that, I, it's a mystery on why she was there so long, because if you've seen any of the photos or videos, you know, those aren't staged. I mean, that's, that's the way she is all the time. She just really wanted a human best friend. So living in the shelter was was uh, a lot harder than I thought it would be. It was not um, a comfortable environment. My my bed was four feet long. I had a small desk and a chair. But she loved having me there, and we definitely bonded even more. You know, the first couple of days we didn't get much attention at all, and I thought, oh my god, I'm going to be here for a year. And then one of my posts went viral, and I started getting hit with a lot of. Uh, media questions and that's when her story went you know worldwide so that exposure is what brought attention to her potential adopters they had a dog in the household that was a senior but it passed away about a month ago they came up to the animal shelter and I could tell it was love at first sight we wanted uh, not just a home we wanted the perfect home and that's what we got <laughs> Are you excited to go to your new home? You're so good in the car. Oh my goodness, it's gonna be a good life cleaning. Bad girl. Just 